Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Digital Pages. First of all, let me apologize for not publishing any videos in the last few weeks. I was kind of busy with a couple of new projects and one of them was robotic process automation. So I came up with this idea of letting you know of an opportunity in robotic process automation to become a business analyst. Before I talk about business analyst in robotic process automation, RPI is used to automate business processes to bring down human efforts using artificial intelligence. It mimics process activities performed by human today, logging into applications such as SAP, Oracle, extract information, key in information back into these applications, read documents such as PDF, Excel, image files, and it can also build reports. There are limitations obviously. It cannot perform activities where human intelligence is required to take decisions. But the technology is progressing so well that with machine learning, it can eventually perform intelligent automations and drive decisions as well. Primarily, there are two job opportunities within RPA. The first is an RPA developer who is specialized in coding, who can build these programs to automate processes. The second is the RPA business analyst. The role of a BA is common across domains. You should become a tech savvy and you should be curious about even minute details about a process. Your basic role is to build process designs and be part of the implementation journey of automation in your organization. Let's look at some key responsibilities of an RPA business analyst now. Preparing business documents and designing new business processes is still common in all types of businesses. But being an RPA business analyst, they have to closely observe business processes and find out the potential processes which can be automated. Their basic role is to perform design and implement creative RPA solutions for the organization. So the advantage of being a Lean and Six Sigma Green Belt or a Black Belt certified is your ability to look at every process and think from standardizing it, simplifying it and transforming the processes before you even go for the automation. Being a person with process improvement mindset, first you need to sit down with the stakeholders to identify business requirements, functional design and process design. Then what you do next is you analyze business processes, identify potential automation opportunities and propose a plan of an RPA strategy. And then you have to create something called a PDD, which is a process description document. And then you would also support the technical team in creating a solution design document, which is STD. A process description documents would include all the steps of an assess process, key exceptions would be captured, key stakeholders would be captured, the details about the different types of applications involved in the process is captured, any potential risk in automating a certain step or an activity is captured in PDD. And you should also provide solution proposal by checking the scalability of the RPA client architecture. And you assist the team by providing insights from the documentations. And then you will work very closely with the RPA stakeholders and other team members during the project delivery as well. What is the skill set expected from a RPA business analyst? You should have very strong communication skills, both verbal and written communication skills. You should have the ability to create documentation. You should have critical analytical thinking and great level of curiosity about process steps. Logical thinking to find the hidden opportunities of business processes. You should have the leadership skills to handle the whole team until the delivery of the project and strategic planning approach to meet business needs. While you create the process description document, you will map the assess process. So you should be good at process mapping, design a future state map, how the process would look after automation, estimating the complexity of the process steps by categorizing this into high, medium or low. There are different players in the market today who specialize in robotic process automation, automation anywhere, Blue Prism, UiPath, these are the leaders today in the market. If you want to study more about this opportunity and if you are aspiring to become a business analyst in RPA, you could explore a lot of free resources on some of these websites by Automation Anywhere. And, and even on YouTube, there are plenty of free uh, contents available for you to learn RPA. 
the RPA industry is valued at about 1.5 billion in 2020 and which is estimated to grow by 30 to 40 percent in the next five to six years. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to learn more about these sort of opportunities, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button.